And our first question will come from Jeremy Harridge of fansided.com. Jeremy, your line is now open. Hi, Greg. Thank you for taking the time to talk. Um, obviously, you know, the pandemic is provides a lot of time to sit and wait. What were your first thoughts when you got the call that, that hey, do you want this Ares Landy Laura fight? Take me to that moment. What was running through your head? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just, words are hard to describe uh you know it's something that my my trainer was uh kind of predicting for for a while now almost close to three years that i you know he would see Larry he's like ah you know this guy you know he's he, he doesn't like backing up you got a good style for him and uh you know he don't like pressure and blah 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 like i see you fighting this guy and then i got the call and i don't know i took it as a real sign so yeah i was really excited really motivated to uh show everyone what i can do and and uh do my best so yeah when when going up against a guy like Laura, obviously he's he's kind of hit legendary status now. Um, is there any intimidation there? Is there any sense of awe, or is it uh, kind of what's your your vision when you go into this fight? How what's your attitude like? Uh, well, you know, I I look at it like he's just you know he's a he's a human just like me, man. He's made of skin and bones and and blood and meat and all that. And then, you know, he has his doubts about himself too, you know, his age and his ability and all, oh, what if this kid gets to me and blah, blah, blah. Like all those things are going through his head too. So as far as intimidation goes, I have, no, nah, I'm not really, I'm not really. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I die. Like it's, you know, it is what it is, but um, mm-hmm. I, I look, at, I'm more excited just to be able to get in there and test myself against one of the best fighters of our generation of, or even the last like decade, really, you know? So Considering that this is a title fight and, and so many, obviously, you've worked very hard to get this point, is there any pressure that, hey, this could be my one shot, I need to make the most of it, or do you tend not to look at it that way? Um, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't really look at it that way. I just look at it like prepare the best I can and perform the best I can in the fight, and that's all I can do. That's it. That's it. I can't do anything else. Um, is it May it be the last opportunity I have for a fight for a title? Yeah, maybe. But I, thinking of that's not going to help anything. So just prepare my best, focus, do my best in the fight. You do that, you know, I got a good shot of winning. Last question here for me. Um, after this fight, after it's all over, what do you think people are going to say about you? What do you want to show them in this fight? Um. I'm in it to win it, man. You know, that's something I, I, I feel like I've, all, I've built a reputation for myself that people, um, spectators see that I'm, there's no giving up in me and that I'll do anything I can to win the fight. And uh, if I lose, I, you know, I want to, I want to lose falling on my face, going down swinging, you know what I mean? So that's really all, all I'm looking to, looking to get people to think is, uh, yeah, there's, there's no giving up in me, man. 